Yes? Something else you needed? I never said you were. You've been speaking to Williams, haven't you? Not at all. Informed speculation on my part. Williams is very good at her job, so it remains secure, despite her best efforts. No, you aren't the first person I've sent to the vault. I'm sorry that I neglected to tell you, but I don't see how it makes any difference. I'd have to consult my records. Eight? Ten? Your point is what? I have no evidence that they're dead. A thousand things could have happened between here and the vault. They could have changed their minds and walked away. I wouldn't be much of a scientist if I leapt to conclusions without proof. All right. I'll admit that it's been difficult to find anyone willing to enter the vault. And I'd rather get the data sooner than later. You have a deal. I'll double your reward if you bring me the data. But this is as high as my budget will allow. Now, I know your time is valuable, so I won't waste any more of it. Feel free to show yourself out. If you can find Keeley and keep her safe, I'll pay you what I can. I gave my... Keeley's brilliant. An absolute genius. She plays at being mean, but it's all a front. When you've lived as long as she has, you get defensive around new people. Who wants to make a friend when you know you'll outlive them? I couldn't get her to say, but she talked about the war. The Great War, when the bombs fell, like she'd been there. So, I'm guessing pretty old. Two hundred years? Maybe more. Like a Brahmin and a Deathclaw, though I'm not sure which would be which. Bad analogy, maybe. They're both Deathclaws in their way. Keeley hates Hildern. She says he's more politician than scientist, and gets in the way of true discovery. And Hildern hates Keeley because... Well, because every time they meet, she makes him look like an ass. In front of important people, usually. Head researcher. Mostly on the dam project, but I help out on other things when they need me. Gotta be flexible. The director? He's... very well-spoken, and... knowledgeable. He's not what you'd call warm, unless he wants something from you. And even then, it's kind of a cold warm. Most of the time, I focus on the science and try to forget him. He doesn't get mixed up in any actual work, though he tells people that he does. He sure does. Everyone knows it. I've just got to endure this job until the project is finished. But abandoning Keeley, he crossed a line. Taking credit for other people's work is one thing. Sending people to die in the waste is another. If Hildren tries to recruit any more mercs, I'm gonna warn them. What can he do to me? I'm the only one who can run this lab. It's foul to tell the truth. Most people try to get what they can from the outside, even if it's just a smuggled candy bar now and then. Contreras is a genius. He can find almost anything you'd want. Takes caps to get him motivated, though. He won't do a thing for free. My father used to say good things about them, but that was years ago. Back when they teach farmers and ranchers about crop rotation and the like. Nowadays, they've changed. They're doing what they can to discredit the NCR. Give us a bad name with the locals. Dr. Hildern trained with them years ago. Not me, though. I'm an OSI girl. I hear a troublesome legion camp. Welcome back. 
Well, you've proven yourself reliable so far. Would you be interested in more important jobs? As much as I like to handle matters personally, I can't be everywhere at once. There is a negotiation with a smaller trading outfit that I'd like resolved as quickly as possible. There's also the matter of Henry Jameson, an employee whose services I'd rather do without. His family connections make it difficult, however. And finally, I need someone to acquire the Gunrunner's manufacturing specifications. This job needs to be quiet. No alarms, no deaths. There's a small trading outfit, Cassidy Caravans, that I'm interested in acquiring. They've been rather competitive, so it's time to buy them out. I have it on good authority that the owner, Cass, wants out of the caravan business. Cass frequently trades with the NCR, so you'll likely find her at the Mojave outpost. The Jamesons are very wealthy ranchers back in Redding, California, and significant investors in the Crimson Caravan Company. I was pressured into posting young Henry as the manager of the New Vegas branch. As you can see, he wasn't exactly cut out for the job. He was much more interested in gambling and prostitutes, and because of his family, I can't simply fire him. Henry needs to be convinced to quit, one way or another. I won't have a useless employee on the company payroll. The quality of the Gunrunner's armaments is due to their manufacturing process. They craft all weapons on site. I want to know the secrets of their manufacturing process, which means you'll need to find some way to get inside their heavily guarded factory. I would greatly prefer that you perform this job undetected and without killing anyone, if it can be helped. Thank you. got raised to the ground. What's up? Why does every... Okay, then I guess I'll be back at the 188. Maybe digging in some dirt for scrap metal or something. You come around like a bad habit. What's on your mind? They want to buy Cassidy Caravans? Don't they know it's burned to ash? No. Even times being what they are. Not sure I'm looking to sell. Even for all the whiskey in Reno. <sighs> Mojave happened. Hit by raiders packing some heavy firepower. Can't believe the Crimson Caravan haven't heard. So if you want to buy all of Cassidy Caravans, you're looking at it. And what I got in my pockets. Still, as little as that is, not looking to sell. If someone came up to you and offered you a thousand caps for your name, would you take it? Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I don't want to hear your answer anyway. Point is, I made the caravan what it is. It's mine. Alice McLafferty, eh? No, I see the zeros, and I know she's good for them. Still, it's not about the money. Dad'd spin like a twister if he ever heard I sold our name for anything. Look, I know you came all this way, and that takes some drive, especially these days. Just doesn't feel right, trading history for a slip of paper. That, that's a good point. It's the caravan clearance that's got me stuck here. I'm sure this bar's getting tired of propping me up. Give me that paper. I'll put my name to it. No sense trying to hold the past between your fingers when it's nothing but dirt. All right. 
There you go. Caravan's yours. Feel kind of relieved, actually. Guess I didn't realize how much I was carrying around with just the name. No idea. Maybe head back west? Though the idea of heading back there with my tail between my legs isn't appealing. Go with you? And why the hell would I do that? So you're looking for someone to help, not just tag along. Huh. Walking the Mojave with you can't be any worse than here, that's for sure. All right, I'm in. Evening. From here, it's nipped into the east or primmed to the north. Holding my breath. Lafferty's been riding asses again. Better lay low. Welcome back. Very good. On occasion, it's proven to be more profitable in the long run to simply buy out the competition. And this is one of those occasions.
Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around. Stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Oh. Lasers, plasma, pistols, grenades. We've got it all. Make at the silver stop. Rush. I've got my eye on you. Shove off. You're making my luck turn bad. Fuck no. No matter what that old bitch McLafferty says, my dad said I could be in charge of the New Vegas branch. Besides, I got into a little money trouble with the Omertas. If I quit the Crimson Caravan, how am I supposed to get the money to gamble? No, no, wait. Look, I just need time. Don't rat me out to them. You want me to quit the Crimson Caravan? Fine, I quit. You can tell McLafferty that she won't see my face again. Sir or ma'am. Sir, or this Kia. I hear a troublesome lesion camp got raised to the ground. Welcome back. Yes, I understand that he's decided to quit outright and not even ask for compensation. I'm a bit curious what exactly you said to him. Then again, perhaps I'd rather not know. Thank you all the same. I'm very happy to be rid of that man. I understand. No hard feelings. But you will, of course, keep our conversation on the matter strictly confidential. Something has actually come up. A prospector recently came through here and spent a lot of caps on supplies. Closer inspection of these caps has revealed them to be brand new. This is a problem. The most likely source of these new caps is the old sarsaparilla bottling plant. Go there, locate the bottle cap press, and disable it. What would you like to know? 
people have been counterfeiting bottle caps forever, but it's always been small scale. A bottle cap press is a whole other threat. We can't have anyone devaluing our currency by mass producing new bottle caps. Certainly, bottle caps do wear out or get damaged. Some people even insist on using bottle caps and explosive devices for some reason. We may get a point to scour pre-war bottling plants and recover or disable the bottle cap presses. Seems we missed one. Lots of little things. The paint on the label, the machining, the type of metal it's made from. I know there's counterfeit caps floating around, of course. Fortunately, they're very time-consuming to make, so the numbers are small. I hear a troublesome lesion camp got razed to the ground. 